Hello everyone, Gal here with you today as we are going to take a look at the FE Active folding camp chair. This is obviously their high back version. The model name is called the New Key. And at the time of my purchase from it on Amazon, it was priced at $50. It comes with a, a zip up case, the length of which is the same as the width of the chair. And once assembled, all you have to do is assemble the aluminum frame and then slip this, what I'll call a seat basket over that frame. It's quite easy to do. Um, initially, you may find it a little bit tight, but once you've sat in the, uh, in the chair and your body weight has kind of stretched all the seams a little, that will be just enough that it makes removing the seat basket and replacing it easier in the future. So, one-time thing. If it got wet and you let it dry out in the sun or something, that might cause the fabric to draw up and tighten a bit. But as it is, I, I found it uh, no problem to disassemble and reassemble. This is rated at, I believe, a 350 pound uh, weight support capacity. I weigh 235. Um, the, the comfort of it is good. I've measured my hips, the circumference around my hips, just loosely measured, was about 47 inches. And as such, that's just about as much as I would care for in this, uh, I mean, that's as, that's as narrow as I would want this seat to be. It's a little bit snug. It's sort of a, a hammock style seat, the way it you know, surrounds your body when you sit down in it. But it's comfortable for me, not, not supremely comfortable. I wouldn't want to spend hour after hour after hour in it. But for the purpose of what I bought it, which is just, you know, a simple, comfortable camp chair, um, I think it'll work fine. Um, it has a, a little bit of a rocking kind of forward back uh, swing. Not really a swing per se, but again, it's just the way this basket is suspended on the frame that it just has a natural give to it. And that's fine. It probably actually makes it a little more comfortable for that very reason. Um, there is a mesh side pocket for a cell phone or drink. I think, yeah, it's, it's big enough probably for a, a standard size, like 12 ounce can or 16 ounce can. Um, oh, because it is designed as a recliner, you know, you wouldn't really want to you couldn't scoot up to a, a camp table very easily and just eat there. You'd be, you'd feel like you're perched away from it. So for that reason, you would just simply shift your position and sit up in the chair without the support at the back. And it's still pretty comfortable that way. Um, likewise, you can buy chairs that are low back designs that are probably more for that purpose. But obviously, if you're packing light on a camping trip, you don't want to be carrying both chairs unnecessarily unless maybe one was for yourself and one was for another person and by having one of each type of chair you can swap chairs as need be for whoever prefers to have what at a given point in time. Um, now when I bought this chair one of the things I noticed that I was concerned about were the feet, the legs. Because these are tubular legs with just a small diameter rubber cap on the end. I thought, okay, how sturdy is that going to be on soft ground? Now my yard here is pretty good solid soil, so I'm not, there's no perception that you're sinking into the ground. But if I move the chair and look, you know, I can clearly see impressions in the, in the dirt. So had this been on the beach, I'm sure I would sink in in the sand to some amount. Now I have read a review, I saw someone specifically addressing the case of sitting on the beach and they said that it worked out fine. So I think probably what happens there is you're going to get some natural digging in as you start sitting down on the chair, but the sand immediately under those legs is going to compress and compress until it really can't compress too much more unless it's just really a a slurry of sand that you shouldn't be sitting on in the first place. But 
Um, anyway, the, the reviewer wrote that they had no issues with the beach. Now, bearing that in mind, one thought I had, I was out at Lowe's today, and I thought, you know, I would like to have something to enhance uh, the legs so that they don't sink in. You know, just being prepared. And I bought a strip of vinyl. This is for uh, a baseboard trim, I believe was the idea. And I've already cut it in half. I did not bring both pieces out. But you could have something like that. It would pack pretty easily. This is actually a little bit long, but I could curl it and pack it into the zipper case, no problem. And then when I get where I'm going, I just simply put you know, one length of it behind and back for the back legs and then a length in front. But guess what? I wasted three dollars and a half because this strip, two of them together, weighs one and a half pounds. That's half the weight of this chair. Forget that. Instead, what I suggest, for 65 cents, you can buy a three quarter inch um, PVC fitting, an elbow, and that works ideally to just slip right over the ends of those feet. The rubber uh, caps are already thick enough where they actually grab just a little bit on those elbows so that the elbows don't fall off. Or you could actually get a T. Now, I've, I've got four elbows because I figured that's what I would use, but I wanted to try the T's also. So, you could do a, a, a T in the same fashion. And I'm almost certain that would save you with from any troubles on softer soil. And that works fine. So, for all the reviews that are out there of this chair, I'm probably not offering you much except for that one little way to enhance uh, how this chair works on soft soil. And these are, oops, I said so they're easily removed. These T's did not come off as easily as the elbows, but they do come off. I think I'd really just recommend the elbows because they're so easy to do. And they do spread the, uh, I'm almost trying to say that. The, they, they increase the size of the footprint. Yeah, I can't recommend the tees. They're, they're, they're a little bit grabby, unless you want to leave them on all the time. I wouldn't want to do that. Um, so we've got those off. But the elbows slip on and off very easily. 65 cents each. So it's a two and a half dollar solution. They weigh four ounces total, one ounce per elbow. So they add very little weight and they'll fit in the bag with your chair, no problem. So then to disassemble it, you just slip this basket off of the poles and roll it up. The headrest has a reinforcing cross member in it. Uh, it feels like it could be a metal, but if so, it's not a very bendable one. So it's really intended just to be a sturdy cross support on the head uh, headrest there. And then you've got some padding, just some high density foam padding it feels like. So you just roll that up and place it into your bag and that's all there is to that. Now with regard to the seat frame, you can already see it starting to collapse. You've got these two upper members that are the lower section is pre-curved so that gives it a little bit of that anatomic bend uh, for the seat back and for the seat basket and this uses a shot corded system of assembly so you've got this is actually a three section pole so you just pull one pole out and there you've got those loose do the same on the other side and then you can pull it directly out of this main cross tube and fold them toward each other very easy one-handed operation more or less. Now the cross tube, um, it also separates, but there's no reason to because the length of your storage case is the same as the cross tube. I think the main reason it separates is so that the uh, shock cord system could be replaced if necessary. So with that done, we just pull out the remaining legs and pull them in. And then although no strap was provided for securing all this together, I have some Velcro one wrap 
that works great for this purpose. I'm going to have it in my pocket. Or maybe I'll have to get inside. Oh, there it is. Okay. So Velcro one wrap. I love this stuff. It's so handy. It's double-sided Velcro. And you just wrap that around. Not necessary. It just kind of helps keep things a little bit tidy and helps avoid excessive rattles if that's going to bother you if you're if you're packing this into a backpack. But just slip it right in here alongside the basket. Zip up the case and you're good to go. Now there are other chairs out there that have the, uh, the leg design is assembled not with shot cords, which shot cords are a failure point. If one breaks then you've got to buy a new shot cord and repair the setup. They're usually pretty sturdy, I think, though, have a fairly good lifespan. But in lieu of shock cords, a lot of these other chairs use a sort of a three way, I think it is, um, assembly. Let's see, one for the main cross beam, one for a upright. Okay, it'd be a four way, and then two legs going down. So you've got two four way uh, plastic braces that, to me, they just, it seems like they're, they're at risk for breakage. Um, over time, ultraviolet light may work against some sunlight, weather conditions, um, just the quality of the plastics depending on the manufacturer. So the real beauty of this uh, FE Active Chair is that it's 100% just good quality aluminum and there's no plastic to break. So I recommend it. Have a great day.